Welcome back. It's, it's time for Ask Wendy. How you doing? My name is Tara Wendy. How you doing? <laughs> right. I've been married for three years. Uh-huh. And my husband wants me to suck his toes during sex. <laughs> I did it once or twice when we were dating, but I don't want to do it. He has, he's a construction worker and he has both feet. So what do I do when he sticks his toes in my foot, in my mouth? Well, he's, he's got to start getting pedicures. And so just talk to him about that. He's got to start getting pedicures and then buy him a petty egg and keep it on his night table stand. <laughs> you know? Thank you. Okay. How you doing, Wendy? How you doing? Great. My name is Anthony. I live here in New York. And my question for you today is, so I've been seeing this guy, and we're starting to catch feelings, but initially the relationship was just about friends with benefits, which is great. Yes. So before it gets too serious... What should we do? Should I move on now or kind of stick it in? I mean, it's good. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> I mean, hey. All right, so, so you, would, you would like to be boyfriend and boyfriend. Uh, actually, we really don't want to be in a relationship. All right, but I think it's just since we're around each other so much, it's just naturally happening. But we're like, should we back away or should we just kind of go You need to back forward? away. Right? Please. I yes. think so. Yes, move, move yeah, on. Yeah. All right, good luck, Anthony. Well, thank you. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Kara. How are you doing? You look great. Oh, thank you. Your hair and the dress. How can I help? Um, I've been on and off for my ex-boyfriend about five years now, but we were only in a relationship for six months. I'm still in love with him, unfortunately, but he's not ready for to be committed. How long should I keep waiting on to be with him? <laughs> exactly. Bye, Felicia. Really? Like, like, he's... Okay, I hate to break your heart, but you're cute enough to get another. If what it is, if you, what it is that you want is a boyfriend, and you've been on and off with some guy for and five I'm years, and you're 31. Hey now. Those are five years you will never get back. Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Okay. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jasmine. How you doing? Hi, Jasmine. I've been seeing this guy for two months. Nothing serious. And recently, he booked the trip to Miami, and I'm like, whoa, hold on, We're just friends. Now, it's a red flag. Should I cut him off? Where he's going to kill you and stuff you in the trunk of the rental car. <laughs> but I didn't tell him he surprised me. And okay. I thought it was a big surprise. Jazz, have you had sex with him? No. What? <laughs> Nothing. I'm, that's why I'm like, it caught me off guard. Wait, and, and not that you should be having sex with him, but I'm just saying all these things. No. And, and when is your birthday? June. You don't even know. June is months away. You don't even know if you'll be together. He that's sounds like yeah. he's got a tick. Yeah. <laughs> Change your number, lock I the doors. Work with him. You work with him. Oh. How old are you? 23. Okay. That should have been the first thing that you said. <laughs> Wendy, there's all right, you, you need to have a conversation with him. And and the conversation is not going to be something that he's going to uh, take um, with, lightly. But that's okay. You're not gonna date him. He's not your boyfriend. You're right. not gonna go to the movies with him. It's done. <laughs> and you and what you have to do is be a woman about this right. in the workplace, okay? Because he sounds like he's got something wrong with him. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. He sounds like he's the killer. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Hey, Jasmine. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? I'm Lisette. Wow, uh, what a pistol. <laughs> uh, I took my daughter to get a manicure, and she wanted this bright red color. And when I told her no, she basically gave me the dirtiest look, and she rolled her eyes, and I froze. I was so intimidated. At I didn't four? Yes, at four. <laughs> I was intimidated. I couldn't believe it. What do I do? What should I do? Are you a single mom? Yes. OK. Um, do you believe in spankings? I do. <laughs> and you get home, and yeah. when, when stuff like... Uh, wait, so she said... she It's not just that she was disrespectful, because that's bad enough. She did this in the nail salon? Yeah, yes. And so all the other women are looking yeah. at you like, so what are you going to do, Lisette? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, how long ago did this happen? Uh, last week. Last week. Okay, it's a little late to do anything yeah. about it now, but the next time something like that happens in public, you grab her by her upper arm... <laughs> And you take her right back out to the, like, manicure, done. Uh, and you wait until you get home, because somebody will call the cops on you. <laughs> and then you wear her yes. little behind out. Yes. OK? Yes. And you let her know why you're beating her, <laughs> and that you are never to be disrespected again. You are her mother. <laughs> How 
you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Lauren. How you doing? Good. How can I help you, Lauren? So, me and my boyfriend have been together for about a year. Uh -huh. We've had no trust issues. But last weekend, I found female deodorant in his back seat. <laughs> Strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. <laughs> Tim, why, why do you have female deodorant in your back seat? He was like, I bought it for myself. I think that women's deodorant works better than men's deodorant. It's much stronger. Should I be concerned? Um, I don't think you should be concerned, but don't sleep on it. You know, it doesn't mean anything. Plenty of men use women's deodorant for just that reason. Are okay. there any men in this audience that use women's deodorant for that reason? <laughs> Not you all. <laughs> So, you know, okay. Don't don't be concerned. Okay. But don't sleep. Thanks for doing. Okay. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? Good. It's Julia. Um, I live in a community, and we have a community newsletter that I volunteered to be the editor for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, so lately, though, I've been really busy with work. I volunteered about a year ago. In the past three months, I've been busy. I need the extra cash. So I was wondering, how do I back out of my commitment of the newsletter without disappointing my neighbors? You have to find your replacement. Okay. Y you're yeah. responsible for finding your own replacement. Okay. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So good for you. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Justin. How you doing? Good, Justin. <laughs> How can I help? You're very handsome. Well, thank you, and you're gorgeous. Thank you, Justin. Beautiful. So about ten years ago, I was at a party and I messed around with one of my best girlfriend's boyfriend. Oh. And they oh ended up breaking up shortly after. I've never told her. I feel very guilty. I'm just wondering if you think I should tell her and clear my conscience. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> Is he bisexual? He was that night. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you want to know what? <laughs> Justin, are you prepared to lose the friendship, at least for a moment? She's not going to well, be able to understand. It's been 10 years, so I don't know if Still, I should even tell her. That, 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 you know, that says something about what you would do to a friend. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would do it again. <laughs> no, but you did it once. <laughs> You know what? Let sleeping dogs lie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good Thank for you. you. <laughs> Wendy, how you doing? How you doing? My name is Darlene, and I met a man on the internet about nine months ago. We reconnected. We've been talking for five weeks. He asked me away for the weekend for my birthday, which is tomorrow. I canceled everything, and then he canceled on me. Oh. So is that a deal breaker or? It's what? it's. You know what? Here's the here's the thing. First of all. Going away, where were you going to go? The Poconos. Okay. Going somewhere up in the woods <laughs> with some, with, by yourself with some man you met on the internet five weeks ago is nuts. He, I did know you... people who know him, no. Oh, I, you know people? I do know people who know him, so I know everything he says is cool. He's a real person. And why did he cancel? He, had, he said he had a family emergency. He, he takes care of his kids that live in Pennsylvania on the weekend. And... He had to take care of them. I don't know. It sounds sketchy, but there is such thing yeah. as family emergency, especially when kids are involved. And be mm -hmm. glad. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and I don't care that your friends know him. I still wouldn't go in the woods with the killer. Okay. 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 Got you. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> How you doing, Wendy? <laughs> All right. Here's the thing. My best friend of 10 years is getting married, and she wants me to be one of the bridesmen. Thing is, she wants me to wear a dress or a kilt. Right, nothing wrong with, you know, guys who wear dresses, but it's not exactly my thing. So I'm wondering if I should just tell her, you know, me being in a wedding is not the best thing right now. Normally, I would say go along with what the bride says, but she's you're, you're a gay man? Wendy, you're a married woman. Uh, uh, <laughs> Is, is that I don't like that she's toying with your sexuality one way or the other. If you're not comfortable wearing either one of those, tell her the reason why and yeah. that you'd like to do something else, like maybe be an usher. Okay? okay. That sounds good. Very well. Very well. Thank you. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm Jasmine. You've got the real version of my fake hair. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. Hi, Jasmine. So I met this guy, and I took some encouragement from two of my friends. Um, they encouraged me to go out with the, um, with the date with him. So the problem is he has a lot of potential. He's great on paper, uh -oh. checks all the boxes, no okay. kids, okay. you know, great age, good credit, own place. The problem is he doesn't cook. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'm a major foodie. Like, I'm hungry right now. He cooks <laughs> nothing. And he doesn't use the grill. So for all three meals, we go out to eat. He wants to go out to eat for every meal. So my concern is... Will I be kicking for him for the rest of our lives if this works out? 
That's a lot of pressure. Is that a deal breaker? There is so much stuff. Who, go, who goes to the pre-made department at the grocery store and you, put, and you put it in your own pot and pan? Girl, this is not a deal breaker, you know? And for instance, does he clean up? Uh, he's a guy. Uh, okay, look, this is not a deal breaker. There are so many ways to make quick meals. How old are you? 34. Okay, I'm surprised that you don't know this already. You're, you're nodding so hard back there. <laughs> Him not cooking is not a deal breaker, but you know, men say that women who don't cook is a deal breaker. It's, it's odd the way that sexism works, but him not cooking is not a deal breaker. What about the grill? Who does like a good bowl of sausage? <laughs> um, deal with it. Okay, thank you. Uh oh. Come on. How you doing? Hey, Wendy. What's up, Wendy? <laughs> My name is Latoya. I'm from Houston. It's my husband, Lonnie. Hi, Lonnie. Hi, Latoya. Hi. Hello. So, how can I help? So, my husband travels a lot. We've been married for 14 years. Mm -hmm. And I sent him sexy texts oh. and <gasps> pictures. Mm -hmm. Trying, you know, keep it spicy. Okay. And this is how he responds. Thanks. And, <laughs> and that's nice. So, how do I get to him, him to engage, you know? Well, wait a minute. Maybe he's tired. Let's find out more. <laughs> Tired of you, construction worker? With my job, I have a lot of colleagues around. Sometimes I'm even afraid to pick up my phone because I don't know what she's sending me. So, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm at work. I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to keep everything down. I don't want nothing to come up. Oh. You know, if you're giving a presentation and you stand up. Yeah, there's a so, pop-up. So we try not to engage at that time because I'm at work. Okay. Any excuse is better than none. <laughs> like, you've been married for, would you say 14, 14 years? 14 years. You have kids? Yes. You're lucky that she still has it hot for you, because after a while, sometimes the heat wears off. You've got to engage. I'm putting this on you, not on her, okay? I know it's on me. Tell I'll do better. This is what you do. <laughs> Next time she does it, if you're in a presentation, tell her that you'll get back with her later on. When you get back to the hotel, that's when you get FaceTime. Oh. Okay? Yes. <laughs> we, can, we can do that FaceTime. Okay, okay? Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? That was a good one. Thank you. My name is Narelle. I um, live here in the city. So I've been seeing this guy off and on for the past Talk three louder. years. I've been seeing this guy off and on for the past three years. Um, he's really great, big gentleman all the time. So we decided, you know, let's try and make this exclusive, try a relationship. But the only thing is he told me that he's bisexual. Talk louder. Okay, another bisexual situation yes. in aisle two. Aisle two. <laughs> because I didn't even know it. and he was like I thought you knew and I was like no I didn't so what do I do because he's really nice gentleman but... okay okay there, no there are two separate problems here or not problems but two yeah. separate situations when you see a guy on and off for three years mm -hmm. if he wanted to make it exclusive or you did he would have said something well we both didn't want to because we were both you know really busy and I was waiting for my schedule no if I really like somebody if I really like somebody you know I make time for exclusivity mm -hmm. I couldn't do it I'm a different girl than you and also I couldn't be with a bisexual man. Yeah. I mean, there's a, it's enough you have to walk in a room right. full of beautiful women exactly. and, and see who's looking. Yeah. I can't have the whole smorgasbord available to a man. So, so you say no, then. So I answer. But how do I break it to him? Like, because he's really nice. Yeah, you, you can know, be friends. Been... You can be friends. But mm. do you still want to be sex buddies? No, no. We were never that. Okay. Never that. Okay. Well, you said you be... No, we no, were never. No, we were seeing each other off and on. We but to me, that means you're also sleeping together no, casually. No, no, no. Just friends okay. off and on seeing each other. Well, yes. sit down. This is oh. not even a conversation. You'll be his friend. You don't want to be his girlfriend. Got it? Got All it. right, Narell. Hi, Wendy. My name is Linda. How are you doing? How are you doing? Linda, please. <laughs> you, you just heard me talk to Narell. Oh, I'm a mess. Sorry. About a month ago, I asked my coworker out on a date, but he turned me down saying he just wanted to be friends. Here we go. Yes, I know. And now it's a little bit awkward at work, so how do I, like, make him know that I'm over him? Yeah. This yeah. is up to you to be mature. Okay. Okay, and but you don't have to say over him. You know, you open this can of worms. This is one of the problems yeah. that happens when you have relationships going on at work, mm -hmm. because you're the one who initiated. You have to be the one to be the more mature person. Okay. Okay. You don't have to have a conversation that you're over him. Just treat him, just what? like you would uh, like another day at work. Except okay. you don't want to smush. Like, yeah. Like, okay. No, like flirting, like yeah, anything. Don't, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Besides, you're cute. You've got a, gin, a, t a you. dimple in your chin. I do. You can Thank get you. another. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh.
please help me. Hi, Wendy. I'm Colleen. How you doing? I'm not sure, Colleen. How you doing? <laughs> not bad. I have a 16-year-old daughter that just lost her first job. She was a waitress, and her boss let her go because she wanted to switch her hours. So, should I call him up and straighten him out, or should I let her deal with it on her own? Let her deal with it on her own. Why'd she want to change her hours? Oh, something came up, you know, a vocal lesson or something. She's the aspiring actress, so she wanted to oh. go to vocal lessons. So. Oh. Well, no, you shouldn't call and straighten oh. out, because otherwise then our kids feel as though we're always going to be there to rescue them and straighten I'm just people being out. The overprotective mother. But and... that, that's what we do. I know. You know, I know, as they grow up, we have to grow up. In I terms know. of moms it's hard. and what we do, it is hard. First daughter, so it it's is. hard. So. Well, mom, yeah, don't butt in. I won't. <laughs> Tell your daughter I said good luck. I will. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Stacy. How you doing? <laughs> that was a good one, Stacy. I've been broken up with my ex-boyfriend for about two years now, and mm -hmm. he constantly comes into my job. Uh, he has a new girlfriend. I am completely over him, Wendy. Okay. He comes into my job. I work in an electronics store, and he's window shopping all the time. Should I approach him about it, or should I just keep it to myself and just, even though it expects me, but should I keep it to myself? Does he bring her? Yes. Well, this is what you do. And her weave is bad. <laughs> no. Nope. But, but we're not going to talk about that. Here's what we're going to do. You are going to politely go over to her, not him, and say, hello, my name is Stacy. You know, Steve and I have been broken up for two years, but it occurs to me that he continually comes in here to flaunt that he's in a new relationship. I'm over him. Uh, you're a beautiful girl. I'm glad you're happy. But I just want you to know that your boyfriend is acting weird by coming in here. Okay. Do you know what I mean, Stacey? Yes, ma'am. Kill her with kindness. I, I was only talking that. Okay, good. Very well, Stacey. Are you uh, doing Wendy? Good. How can I help? Okay, so I'm Carla, and I'm married. And I have this friend. She's always complaining that she can't find a man. Every time we go out, she just kills our vibe. But you know what? When I go out every day, look at me. I get chosen. As a matter of fact, I got chosen outside your studio. Okay. Well, I want to know. What I want to know is, should I be giving these guys to my friend? No. Because the problem is, my is that. Don't kill but, me. but no, no, here's the thing. <laughs> no, because when a guy is into you mm -hmm. and you're married mm -hmm. and you pass him off to your friend, okay. he will always originally have been into you. Uh, and that will become a problem later on. Uh, Okay. And I don't know what's going on with you women who say you can't find a man. Mm -hmm. Men are every place. Everywhere. They're not all gay or in jail. No, they're not. And, and like 25 on my roster, and I'm like, look, exactly. I'm married. Exa exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, I think that your friend is putting out then a, a vibe a that she... Vibe. A negative vibe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you can't help her. Okay. And you can't give her your sloppy seconds because okay. he, will, he, will he will always have been into you first. Okay. Okay. Amen. Okay.